In Russia in the 1930s, there was a period called the Great Purge, when Joseph Stalin decided he was going to discipline his people. People just disappeared, um, off to the execution grounds or off to the gulag. No rhyme or reason, um, you just vanished um, into the nightmarish apparatus that he had built specifically for the purpose of making his people suffer and to be afraid. Now if you ask anyone, there are still a few people that, that are around that lived through that period. A lot of non-crazy people who lived through that have surprisingly pleasant memories of that time. Back then, you didn't worry about um, where you're going to find shoelaces if uh, your shoelace broke. You didn't worry about impotence. You didn't worry about um, unplanned pregnancy. You didn't worry about electricity bills. You didn't worry about getting fat. You didn't worry about getting skinny. You didn't worry about diabetes. You didn't worry about uh, the international situation. You didn't worry about Armageddon. You didn't worry about politics. You didn't worry about pollution. You didn't worry about the international situation. You didn't worry about any of those things because there was only one thing really to be worried about and that was a knock on the door at 3 a.m. That crowded all the other worries off the stage. With the result that the little niggling things about life suddenly were not worth worrying about because you had something real to worry about. Now, in today's age, very few of us have to worry about the knock on the door at 3 a.m. In Stalin's Russia, the USSR, that was a very, very understandable and natural worry. Just like today, it seems natural that we're worried about um, the world coming to an end because we've wrecked the environment, or we've bred ourselves off the planet, or we set off the bomb, or um, an asteroid collides with the Earth and turns it into a pile of dust suddenly. That seems reasonable to some people, I should, I should say, I should point out. Um, the second we actually fall into a real police state, people will stop worrying about all of that stuff. Because you will worry about the knock on the door at 3 a.m. You will stop thinking about all the other stuff. It's interesting, eh, when you think about that. Um, the antinatalists, uh, some of them, I should call them, I suppose, the morbid antinatalists, sort of tell you that there's just so much out there to worry about that it's illogical not to be worried. I know how to cure them of their worry. <laughs> ship them to North Korea or uh, ship them to, I don't know, Syria. You'll find out what worry really is. Um, and you'll also find out how bearable other stuff uh, starts to get. You're suddenly not worried about, oh, I'm getting a bit of a beer belly. Suddenly you've got other things to worry about. You want to get stressed out about the world? There's loads to get stressed out about. I won't say that, that it's, it's a choice to do so, but we have the option of not being that way, not reacting to it. It takes a conscious effort, but it can be done. There are plenty of people out there that don't live their lives like a deer caught in the headlights. Maybe they're on to something. Thank you.